Making a brand new Peking account starting with 100 mil. For the last two years of playing hardcore Iron Man limited to PvP worlds, I have missed out on so many players I could have PK'd because of the lack of an account. Specifically an account that can attack players within the combat bracket of 94 to 107 in PvP worlds. For this reason, I created the account 94 to 107. And it has officially begun. The best thing to do when you are starting a new account is to do plenty of quests. Restless Ghost completed. Ernest the Chicken completed. Imp Catcher completed. Priest in Peril completed. Gnome Village completed. Waterfall Quest completed. Cook's Assistant completed. Grand Tree completed. Murder Mystery completed. Golden Diplomacy completed. Witch House completed. Druidic Ritual completed. Dead Ritual completed. Demon Slayer completed. Dead Ritual completed. Dead Ritual All of these quests which I am completing is a part of the recipe for disaster. Very useful gloves for the future, but for now, I'm gonna take a short break from questing and get my stats up. But before we continue, I am very happy to announce that this video is sponsored by Ridge. If you are looking for a new and unique front pocket wallet, then this is the one for you. The Ridge wallet have 30,000 5 star reviews and is the best way to carry your cash and cards. It comes in titanium, carbon fiber and aluminium and over a dozen different styles and colors. Possibly the perfect Christmas present to a family member or a friend. And if you use code CENGINEER by going to ridge.com slash CENGINEER, you get 10% discount today with free worldwide shipping and returns. I'm sure you will love it as much as I do. Since I am slowly working myself up to the med level combat bracket, I want to try on different PK builds as I progress the account. The PK build I'm going for in this episode is the low level range into Gmall Pure. So basically 50 attack and 61 range is the goal. And that is 40 range. Horror from the deep completed. We can finally upgrade gear from this to this. Very beautiful. That's 50 range. 60 range. 61 range. I can now leave and get myself a rune crossbow. Combat level 45, I can now use the Rune Crossbow and the Dragonstone Bolts and also the Dark Bow. So before I grind the rest of my stats up, I'm gonna try peeking on this combat bracket. Alright, some max hits with the Magic Short Bow, 15. With the Rune Crossbow, 24. And with the Dark Bow, 50. Alright, I found someone. I killed him. First kill, first kill on this account, 35k. Look at this man. Do you think the trade lore works? Bruh. Nope. Oh my god, he was risking 58 mil. And I chanced him twice. <laughs> but you suck, oh my god. All right, I see a level 30. <laughs> I killed him. Oh, I killed him. <gasps> it did it on me. I tried it. <laughs> I tried to lure this guy and I got lured. All right, it's time for me to AFK some rock crabs again, so I'll see you guys in one second. One second later, and that is 40 strength, 50 attack. We can now wear the granite hammer. Oh, we can't. And there it is, 50 strength. We can now use the granite hammer for some quicker experience. Before I gain any more combat levels, I want to go PKing. But first, let's get 50 magic. And that is 50 magic. Let's go PKing. I realized I needed climbing boots. So here we go, Death Plateau completed. And of course the max hit with the Gmall, 20. All right, let's see if we can find some Shin Hunters. Oh, we got a kill. Let's see here, 28 Shin Champas, 82k PK. And we got another kill, beautiful. 190k, that's great. Easy kill. 13 chins. And he's dead. Let's see the amount of chins. 76 shin champers. Beautiful. 220k. And he's dead. Beautiful. That's 200k PK. Nice. 
I was casually scouting on my pure not looking into fighting anyone, but this guy teleblocks me and attacks me, so I fought back. This is really why I'm making this series. I want to fight these people, these noobs. Damn, 430k PK on my main. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Probably despawn. <gasps> yes. Oh my god, yes. Give me all of them. Give me all of them! Woo! 150k PK! And it's gone. Easy peasy. Samurai? 82k. And I'm dead. I am making so much money killing these bots, but as soon as I gain 2 or 3 combat levels, I will no longer be able to attack them. So I need to take advantage of this money making method. I just scouted a debower who killed a Shin Hunter. Killed them! I got the chance to PK it. Oh! 116, holy shit! That's a sick PK. Nice. 370k. Good fight. 99 chins, 290k. I mean, this money making method is so good, and it's just for low levels as well. Easy kill. 76 black shins. Easy kill. Beautiful. Room plate legs as well. Nice. Ooh, this is a big PK. 300k peak. All these PKs are adding up to become worth a lot. There we go. <gasps> oh. And he's dead. I got one of them. Oh. 93 Shinchompas, 20 Shinchompas, 15 Shinchompas, 31 Shinchompas, 31 Shinchompas, 85 Shinchompas, 80 Shinchompas. Alright, and we're gonna end it with that one kill. We got, we have now finally reached the goal of 1000 Black Shinchompas. And a little price check of everything we PK'd. 3.39 mil. Very, very nice. But we are not done yet. We need to gain a few levels and complete a few quests before evolving this PKing account to the next PKing build. I just missed the level, but we are now 60 magic. One of the key components to PKing with magic is the god staffs and the god capes. And of course, we grab one of each cape plus one extra for the imbued one. And the stats, of course, plus 10 magic attack and defense bonus. A great way to save a lot of money when PKing is to complete 5 parts of the recipe for disaster. That way you don't have to PK with combat bracelet and instead you can use mithril gloves. And that's the first part done, another cook's quest completed. The mountain dwarf have now been saved, the goblins have been freed. We have now saved Pirate Pete. Scratch Ogloglog we have been freed, Evil Dave have been saved. After freeing Evil Dave, I can now purchase the best gloves for one defense pures. And every time I die using these submitted gloves, I will be saving myself 10k instead of losing a combat bracelet. So my good friend framed he was PKing by the Earth Warriors in Edgeville Dungeon, and unfortunately he didn't have an account in the 40s. So I decided to step up as a good friend and bring my newly made pure and kill everyone in level 40s which he couldn't kill. No, oh that's God. such bullcrap. He's dead. dead. Bottom, bottom. <laughs> 50k. Oh, he's coming to me. <gasps> That's gotta be dead. Ooh! Yes! And I got a 64 range. 47k. I feel like they are bots. They have the exact same gear. I got the exact same loot. He's about to die to the Earth Warrior. Please die to the Earth Warrior. No. Alright, he's dead! He's dead. He 
got a level. And he's dead. Good fight, just as a level 58 toad will put it out. If that 58 killed me, I could have lost 13 mil. Level 43. Big hit. That's a KO. Nice. We got him. 104k. Ooh, beautiful kill. Oh, that's a lot of. That's a lot of. What? That's a lot of seeds. And with that kill, we're gonna wrap up the first episode of making a Peking account starting with 100 mil. In the next episode, we are taking this range GML pure to the next level. I'll see you guys next week. We started this episode with 100 mil and we ended with 96.2 mil, which means we have lost 3.8 mil.